Ever since I had kids, airplane turbulence makes me nervous in a way that it never did before. But I'm married to a rocket scientist and recently on a turbulent flight, he told me something that made me feel better. He noticed that I was nervous and he said, hey, we're safe. And I said, can you please explain the jello to me? He's like, what do you mean? I said, there's this metaphor about how turbulence can't hurt you because a plane in the air is like a chocolate chip or something in jello. And while you can touch the top and the chocolate chip might wiggle, there's pressure on all sides of it keeping up in the air. I'm like, I don't understand. He said, what do you mean? I said, I don't, why are we in jello? Why are we not just in air? Because if I just drop my purse, it falls out of the air. So why is the plane in jello? But this just falls out of the air. He said, because we're going so fast. I said, okay, well, I could throw my purse across the room and it's still going to fall. I still don't understand. Give me a better metaphor. He said, okay, you know, when you're driving on the highway and you stick your hand out the window and you're only going like 60 miles an hour, you can feel the pressure, right? We've all done that. We stick our hand out the window and we feel the air on all sides of our hand. He said, the speed on your hand is creating pressure, but that's only 60 miles an hour. An airplane is going like 600 miles an hour in the air. So imagine how much pressure that is creating. So you're telling me that it's the speed that keeps us up and creates the pressure. Yes. So if I throw this purse 600 miles an hour, it would just stay up. He said, well, your purse doesn't have engines. So eventually it would fall out of the sky once it, it slowed down. But I guess if your purse had engines that were keeping it 600 miles an hour, yeah, it would just stay up from the pressure. And that clicked for me. The decreasing of speed that brings you down, not turbulence, like little bumps aren't going to decrease your speed enough to make you drop out of the sky. Next time you feel a bump, look out the window, you still going 600 miles an hour. You're good. You literally cannot fall out of the sky while you're going that fast, even if it's bumpy.